I didn't get a column. And that was cut on record. Good evening, everybody. This is David Slash Asher. Uh, joining me, of course, is Michael Slash Fatas. Yeah. And the man who did not get a comb is MPX. I mean, you don't have to rub it in. Like, that's not... You didn't have to go, like, triple down on that. Always calm your party members, everybody. Yep. If you don't calm, then you are a bad party member. You get it for free. It takes just a second. Use it. Well, I did calm my healers. Oh, yeah, no, no, I'm talking about them being jerks. Yeah. Well, if... I'm DPS. What do you expect? Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Well, yeah, no, when you're DPS, you have to work a little work harder to stand out. Mm -hmm. And the worst kind of standing out is, oh, you're dead on the floor. Again. Oh, yeah, no, no. Positive stand out. Yeah. I don't know, I did manage to survive once when half of my entire uh, party ended up wiping for some reason. Uh... I mean, that can count as a good standout. Not falling when the party does. Although that could also cause resentment. Because they're assholes. That is true. That is true. If you If half the party falls... And and you're one of the people who's just standing there like ah uh, you're all suck you all suck even if you're not actually saying it they could imagine you saying it so that is a possibility yeah. in which case you're, you're, you're fucked no matter what you, you can't win anyway you want to know my other thing about Final Fantasy 14 I uh -oh. also got a second gear drop from uh, the new raid nice so um now like a shiny golden god if I didn't glamour it <laughs> obnoxious. So, you got that this week. Mm hmm So, if we do the raid tomorrow night, you wouldn't be eligible for gear. That's fine. If, if everybody wants to do the raid and I don't get any gear, it's like, okay. It happens. I mean, you'll still get um, tomes, at least. Yeah. Tomes and uh, better chances at... Uh, the oh, at the non-gear stuff. Yeah, yeah the orchestron minion. Mm -hmm. I think that's about it. Except they already got the minion. <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh, you did get the minion. Right. Oh, well, orchestron. Less and less reasons to go to this raid now. If I was getting it for the loot only. Also, I have tones. There's always tones. You can't get rid of tones. Uh, what's the uh, what's the exchange rate for the coin right now? What do you mean exchange rate? Like, what is the exchange for right now? Oh, um, the higher coin exchanges for 590 gear. The lower coin exchanges for 570 gear. How do you get the higher coin? Uh, literally that raid. So um, a... that raid, expert, um, probably, I'm not sure, but probably, presumably, the, um, 8-man series. Oh, right. I Panda forgot. Land. A... Yeah, I, I, I forgot about Panda. Uh, also, certain roulettes. Like, I think if you do level... If, I'm pretty sure it's either leveling or MSQ that if you do that when you're on a 90, you get um, both of the upper tiers. I know MSQ for sure. Because you get all three tiers. I think if you do leveling as a 90, you uh, get both of the upper tiers. Hmm. Uh, also, your tomes. Your wonder tales. True. The, uh... Fuck my brain. The one-line reward is the upper tier, but a small amount. The two-line reward is a large amount of the lower tier. Oh, I was talking about the one coin you get, not the tomes. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I know about oh, the tomes. Oh, oh. I thought we were talking about the tomes this whole time. No, I was talking about the weird, like, coin. The, um, coin? Yes. Yeah. The coin you can only, 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 only get from the raid, and I think the coin is once a week. Yeah, I could be wrong on that. I thought the I coin was it. like, I think the coin's like once per day? I'm not searching myself. I, uh... Queued up the one time, uh, managed to get in within two minutes of queuing nice. up, which was fun. Uh, 
you know, say that like wait time, 15 minutes for DPS. It's like, oh, hey, it's lying. Uh, but I only did it one time, so I don't know. So I will be the experiment, I guess. Yeah. If I don't get a coin this, uh, if we're doing the right again, it's once per week. If I do get it again, who knows? Maybe once per day, maybe just anytime you do the right. Yeah. And the coin is used for like weapons in here. No, I have to correct that. Uh, that coin is used for upgrade materials for the 590 gear that you get with tones. It upgrades it to 600. Admittedly, I've uh -oh. seen those coins used for other things, but I could be wrong. Uh, usually later on, they become used for other things as well. Um, I don't believe that I've seen that they are currently, but yeah. I also, I could be wrong as well. Because, like, the thing I'm lo uh, looking back on is, of course, the near raids, which... I can now qualify for the final one. Uh, yes, he's now ready to do uh, well, Breach of Paradise I Tower. Need to do the story. Which leaves trying to get Eddie on track for that, if we do that tomorrow. Hey, at least I have some experience dying to it. Ooh. <laughs> Anyway, shouldn't we be talking about the actual game we're streaming? Not really, because we're dungeon. That's crazy. I mean, we could also talk about the announcement that came out this week about uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 3. And uh, it's crazy shenanigans. I mean, do we want to talk about that, or do we want to keep talking about 14, because I just got something new to talk about? Okay, what's going on with 14? Uh, apparently they're bringing back a new, uh, uh, the, uh, the next event is going to be, uh, one of the old limited times. Oh! Uh, Maiden's oh. Rhapsody, the 11 crossover. Yeah, I know I've done that one, too. So I, uh, I stuck all that armor I, in the... I don't have the gear from it, so apparently I do need to do it again. Ooh, weird. Or do it. Because I don't... I might have just, I might have just zoned out on it previously or been, you know, not actively playing. I think it was during one of the times you were not actively playing. And Which but, unfortunately does happen. And then by the time you started playing again, it was gone past. Yeah. I mean, granted, I don't know if I would ever use it, but, you know, if I have it, then I can decide whether or not I want to use it. If I don't have it, I might someday go, oh, hey, I wish I had this piece. Yeah. Oh, oh. Damn it. <sighs> but no, the one thing I'd probably mention is that Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is the game's coming out in July but the uh, the collector's edition which as so far currently is a Japan exclusive is coming out fall 2022 and was just announced yeah well apparently uh, it was initially slated for fall release day uh, like for fall but somebody did some checking and they swapped the release dates uh, they swapped Splatoon 3 and Xenoblade Chronicles 3 release dates so. uh, sorry going back to something we were talking about previously I finally found the answer uh, upon a completing Aglaia players can also earn a separate reward once per week two cracked anthro clusters and one Aglaia coin yeah, the Aglaia coin. So the Aglaia coin is weekly. Okay. Is once per week only. Okay. Well, that answers that. That being said, you technically don't need the coin to get the items. 
uh, because the uh, the items that you would use from the Aglaia coin can also be bought with nut. Either in Old Char or in Ratzit Han, you can exchange nut to get the Radiant Twine and Radiant Coating. Yeah, that I did notice. And they're still like 32,000 nuts. I mean, 100. Um, 3,200. <laughs> 32,000 would be literally insane. At least I'm getting a lot of chances of getting a Luru. For Gala. See, silver lining. Everyone's done the Easter event. To get there. Uh, I think I decided to skip it this year. Not gonna get the fluffy bunny minion? Nah. I mean, granted, I still have time to change my mind. It's up until Wednesday. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I was considering skipping it for the minion, because meh, but the emote on the other hand, I do need more eating emotes. Yeah. I already have pizza, I have bread, I have, I think I have something else. Apple? Maybe. No, I'm not that much of an asshole. You can't, you can't eat emotes. I mean, not with that attitude, you can't, Eric. Oh, good. We now have a fifth phoenix in our pants. Van must have balls of steel. I mean, steel gets heated very easily, so uh, maybe not. Maybe his uh, testicles are asbestos. Uh. But no, I actually found something out about that eat egg emote. Uh huh. Apparently, it's a reference to um. The Game Grumps old video editor, Ross. <laughs> <laughs> B 
because apparently uh, he was seen in multiple like events, him just eating eggs in the background. And the it's like people are like, oh no, look, it's you. And it's like, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. And then he got a retweet from the actual 14 Twitter account that said, we had to do it, Ross. Oh. So that was confirmation that, yes, it's not a another eating one, but more of a, oh, hey. God damn it, Ross. He did eat a whole massive stream where he ate 1,000 eggs. Oof. Why? I think that was... I, I think that was one of the ones where he decided to mimic that, uh, did something where he just ate actual eggs. It's weird. Because, like, I watched a video on him admitting to it. And now I just cannot remember where, uh, like, where I watched it on. I know it was on YouTube at least, but I just forgot his channel. I think it's on his YouTube channel because I just did a quick search. Uh, I can can I eat 130,000 uh, 138,000 eggs? Jesus Christ. Oh, well, I didn't mean the like him eating the eggs thing, but him responding to the whole Oh, the eat egg emote is a reference to him. But, eh. Oh, hey, look, Nova 2. Oh, no, that's what it is. Oh. It's not the fact that he did it IRL on a video. Uh, a Final Fantasy XIV player recently consumed 999 virtual eggs and life treated the whole experience. The player in question is named Ross Donovan. Shortly after logging into Marbro, a fellow Aorzean traveler presented with 999 eggs with no apparent reason. Uh, naturally, Donovan did what any reasonable human being would do and decided it was time to chow down. <laughs> Jesus. Just the fact that he live streamed the entire thing, just oof. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. That is why the emote is in his honor. Also, everybody has orb at level 5 now, so... Excellent. So if we run into anything that uses rot, everybody is prepared. Yes. So I know you've been grinding a lure, uh, or trying to get a lure for Gala. Yeah. Um, have you gotten a chance to play with it on the other two? No, I have not. <laughs> um, they are there. I can confirm that, but it's just mm -hmm. before it's like I really have not done a lot of grinding. Oh, hey, Gola Gola, which we already have, so.
that for her. Yeah, thankfully that turned out less uh-oh. Yeah. Alurus have kind of a lot of health. It's just... Uh. It's just the fact that you didn't want Vaughn to go over there and start beating it up. Yeah. And potentially steal the kill. Because Vaughn already has it. Whereas, unfortunately, Gala still doesn't. Yeah. Which is annoying. this on last stream or no you haven't said what the other news is yet uh well i can finally play elden ring i believe you didn't actually okay but uh, i know you mentioned it in um in our uh discord but i don't think you actually have said it on stream yet yeah well they finally fixed the invisible enemies thing Admittedly, some people are now complaining because of the fact that they fixed that, uh... Oh, hey, War Soul? Item? Increasing attacking power of arts. Okay. Oh, you're going for the balance out option? Uh, I'm going to go increase the attack, uh, put that on him, because why not? See, I was thinking about going with the triple down option, which would, of course, have been to put it on Noah instead. Ah. Uh... Since she's currently doing 583 billion damage. Well, I may swap it out uh, after he finally gets the Luro, maybe.
that cannon, it, it stings a little. Yes, it does. lower level it probably hurt even more oh yeah absolutely but thankfully you are not yeah Jeez. well it definitely increases yeah like a 50% increase? Actually, no. When that combo does actually hit, it does hit about like 600 or so, so. Oh, hey, Mushira and Freed. Easy. Well, you have to keep in mind the 600 or so you're counting from is based on the entire attack rank. Yeah. The only thing that the uh, accessory boost is just that last piece. Up from here, hmm. that's worrisome, but oh, you mean like if we clear this place, we never see him again? Well, no, I it's not that like will we see them again, but if they just stop showing up, that means in order uh, to grind them, I have to go a bit for just uh, that first part, yeah. I mean, they do show up again very soon. Oh, nope, there's an Aluru. So they're in this area as well. Cool. God damn you and that cannon! It's potent. this because it's technically uh, some something Wally found and he's trying it out God damn it. is that uh, Wally's found a uh, website that allows him to be paid as a DM oh so he's gonna try it out for a bit I've definitely heard of that, but never online. Uh, he shared the website, and admittedly, I haven't put in my review of his DMing skills yet. I am going to. 
but it's one of those, like, I looked it over, and both me and him agree, it it's weird in the fact that, uh, he's probably going to be one of the very few specialized people, because guess what 80% of the people uh, dungeon mastering do? Uh, straight up 5e from uh, from books. Yep, uh, basically fifth edition. I did see a couple of, of things of Pathfinder. Did not see anything like Call of Cthulhu or Traveler. Yeah, unfortunately, a lot of people. It's weird because like I feel like some of the systems that people would really love, they never actually try out. I mean... I mean, there's still... I have yet to ever, 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 ever see a group actually play Paranoia. And I am convinced that that is probably going to be one of the most fun games ever. I've listened to stories about people who have played Paranoia, and it is insane. Exactly! Because... I mean, it's basically Among Us with respawns. Yeah. Um... With, like, a life counter. Like, uh, say, if you were playing uh, Smash. Yeah. Let's see. Uh... I did, uh, like, I did a brief look over of, like, some of the games on there. Um... Admittedly, I looked at it, it's like the minimum price for joining a game is like $10, and I'm like, that's... Hmm... A session? A session. Uh... That's... Some people are I mean, willing. Yeah, it... For me, it's, it, it's a split. Like, if I had the money to burn... Hell yeah, I, I could see... I could see paying that for a quality gaming session, absolutely. But also, that's a little pricey to me in my current scenario. Yeah. I'm not saying that, like, oh, that's a very cheap price point. I'm saying that as a... Huh. You're looking from you're looking from the other side of the spectrum. Yeah. It, and... Which, I mean, table of six, you're looking at 60 bucks a session. If you run a few sessions throughout the week... It's, I mean, it's not going to be a primary income by any means, but it makes a pretty decent secondary. Well, from the way Wally described it is that it's uh, $10 per person per session. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and $10 was the minimum price. Yeah, so I mean, there there could be DMs that have a higher price point, which means they would make more money per session. At, at that point, you could start getting into it becoming a halfway decent primary. Yeah. Um. And I discovered the save point, so I'm not going farther for now. We've only wasted about half an hour, so we can do a little bit of grindy bits. Yeah, like my uh, my old DM when I, from when I used to play D and D all the time before the Panini Press. Um, yeah, he, I know that he was starting to do some DMing, but he was doing like local at one of the game shops. Yeah, uh, where he was doing DMing. Yeah, and that seems to be why uh, one thing that I encountered, and this was from an ex coworker. Admittedly, like, he was a hardcore... D&D is the only tabletop system that makes sense. Why don't you Which just... Which, the type is White Wolf. This, this is a world where White Wolf exists. And he said... He, he actually said that in a world where White Wolf has been created. Because, like, I mentioned GURPS, and it's like, well, why don't you just modify D&D &D for a sci-fi setting? It's like... Because there's certain... uh, because unfortunately D twenty systems aren't always the best answer. Yeah. And well, technically, a lot of sci fi systems use a percentile based system, which technically D twenty is. 
Some do and some don't. I mean, some do and some don't. Yeah. Well, what I'm saying is that D20 is essentially a simplified uh, percentile system, since a true percentile would be, you know, rolling a effectively a D100. Yeah, 2D10. A 10's die and a 1's die. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I mean, there are systems out there. Um, uh, Hero System, for example, that is all D6s. Yeah. Um, you've got White Wolf, which is uh, all D10s and it's hits and misses. Mm -hmm. Where you have like a dice pool of, say, you may have a dice pool of 10 or 12 dice for an, for an individual action. Plus, I'm sorry, when it comes to social games, like, I, I try to be unbiased, but when it comes to social games, White Wolf just actually is the best. Mm. Just objectively the best. Because there's so much more you can do socially in a White Wolf game that there are stats for doing in a White Wolf game. I mean, the only game, and I've only heard of it by proxy, I have not actually uh, played it myself, was Exalt. Or exalted, exalted. Exalted, where quite literally you have three versions of combat systems. A social etiquette combat, actual combat, and then a spiritual slash moral combat. Because apparently in Exalted you can have a, an internal conflict that the DM will pick a side, and then you fight internally against. Yeah, it's, um, physical, mental, and social. Yeah. It, it's, 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 like I said, it's, um, it's White Wolf, so it's got, there, you have three, um, stat pools. Like, how we think of, like, strength, uh, strength dex con it was charisma for, uh, D&D. &D. Um, you could split into, um, your physical strength dex con and your mentals, which is it was charisma. Because Christmas technically, it's weird. Christmas just weird. <laughs> um, but it's basically you've got your um, three, uh, your three physical attributes. You've got your three mental attributes, and you've got your three social attributes. And then you have um, various uh, stuff under the, uh, those as well. So, like for uh, for modern setting, which of course White Wolf, um, you have like the drive skill like you you can you can, like you can be just like a basic uh, person who drives a car you don't need the skill but then you start getting buying dots into that for like being able to do tricks and whatnot and combat driving things of that nature but yeah it's so you literally can have in social circumstances you can literally have opposed social roles which are basically social combat yeah um Admittedly, like, the games I've played with Wally have been Pathfinder and a GURPS game that is still currently going on. And I still, from my perspective, put GURPS and probably White Wolf in the same category as GURPS above D&D because the one thing I do recall about D&D is that if you don't have the skill, you cannot perform it. Um. Unless there's been so a change. It's it's a yes and no, and it, it does depend on version. Yeah. Um, in two in two e, um, you had to uh, you no actually not really. It well, it also it's... does depend on the DM as well because yeah there's there's a variety there's a, a a level of you can but at some kind of disadvantage a penalty yeah. to the roll a higher DC disadvantage on the roll some based on whatever system you're in. Yeah. Um, there's going to be some kind of Whereas, um, same thing with Vampire is, let's say I was trying to do, I was trying to intimidate someone. Um, so that might be, so that's um, social manipulation, but intimidation is a technically a physical, let's say it's like a conversational setting. So it'd be manipulation plus intimidation. I have no dots in intimidation, so I would get three fewer roll dice, um, yeah. minimum of one die. But if you have one die, it's called a chance die. If you get a critical fail on a chance die, um, that's literally like a like a nat one in D and D. Yeah, 
Um, but it's only it, that's the only time that a one is a critical fail. Is if you only if you're if you're reduced to just a chance die, just a single die. And that's the one thing uh, that like I kind of like Gerps about is that even if, if you have the skill, you can still try it. Ba uh, admittedly, at disadvantage, based off of whatever the base stat is, or uh, so it's like if you try and do forensics. That's intelligence, but if you don't have forensics or one of the associated skills, it's at a you do it at a negative five. Yeah, exactly, exactly the same concept. Because you have some kind of base. I mean, a, any any Joe Schmo watching, listening, whatever, <laughs> could go out, could leave this, and go to a crime scene and attempt a forensic investigation. Um, they would probably get in a lot of trouble with the cops for doing so. Not recommending it, but they physically could. How good they are at it would be a degree of luck, what they may have picked up from TV and their just base, their actual per character, their personal intelligence. Yeah. I mean, it's the same thing with, like, um, let's say combat skills. Uh, and I know, I'm sure Gerbs has a similar thing. Let's say vampire shooting a gun. Uh, dex plus firearms. If you have no dots in firearms, you can still go base off of your dex minus three. Um, so if you got a really high dex, you might still get a couple dice to roll because you're just naturally dexterous. You can, you kind of have the idea of how to aim. You're just not familiar with guns. Yeah. Um, and, and that's, and, like, I like that, but, like, I remember my ex-co-worker mentioning the fact, it's like, if you don't have the skill, you can't do it, and, like, that doesn't seem reasonable, and I mean, like, I know there's also house rules and things of that nature. Yeah, and I think that's where some of that was coming from, because, um, I mean, there are certain circumstances like, let's say you're literally, like, trying to defuse a bomb. Sure, you could try, but if you don't know which wire to cut, the odds are pretty good, big bada boom. So it's pos and and that's the other thing, is that some DMs will say, rather than say, you shouldn't, it's a bad idea, they'll some sometimes they'll just flat out say, no, you can't. Uh, which, I mean, okay, sure, maybe they can't, but are you telling them they physically ha they they're not going to be able to succeed, or you're literally blocking them from attempting? Yeah, is the variation that, or is the difference there? And I apologize. As good as this conversation is, I need to step away for briefly. I'll be back shortly. Okay. Well, I can continue with a bit in the place. In my two cents, I think the thing is, is that most RPGs really depend upon uh, the group in question. Because obviously, if you want to murder a hobo, there's nothing wrong with, you know, <laughs> sticking with what you know. But if you actually want to do a bit more creative or storytelling style type of thing, it's, you know... <gasps> It requires a different group and sometimes a different system. Yeah. And... I mean, like, I know that some people prefer the idea of basically forming the murder hobo party. Also, we got Gala, his Aluru, finally. But let's see here. I'm gonna do some modifications. Gala does not need four soul.
Okay, that's a twist. Oh. Oh, the Anog and Konog stuff. Oh, right, yes. I guess this would make a bit more sense if I had played the game. Uh, maybe? Um... Which one did you choose, Anog or Konog? Konog. I think I followed Konog as well, so... And I think we're coming up to... You mean it might switch for the other one? Yeah. It might turn into, like, if you switch, if you chose Anog, it would turn into whatever happen is happening right now with Konog is now happening to Konog and revert, uh, vice versa. And yes, I'm kind of stalling for time for Michael to get back yeah. when he can. Actually, that is a good question. Do you happen to know whether this questline has multiple endings, like, near? I hope not. And no, I don't think it would. Simply because the quest structure is not capable of something like that. I think so, and... As far as I know, like, most of, uh, like, most MMOs, at least 14-wise, it's structured in such a way that it's... If you do deviate, you go back to the original one sooner or later. Like how in mm. early... Uh, Endwalker, we had the two choices of either we could go to Thavner, uh, Thavner or we could, you know, hang around old Charlian. Yeah, but you had to complete the other one just as before you actually start the next part. Yeah. It wasn't a thing of like, oh, you went this way? Well, now everybody get, comes back together to do, uh, you know, oh, uh, the Tower of Zod, I guess. Got 90 for one shot. And yes, people are going to be looking at this list going like, how how do you only have like so many level ones? Like 90 MP for a single shot. And my magic is 20 7. No. It's like my, not level 27. It's like 300. I get three shots of that before having to resume. Mm -hmm. time, probably. Ah, this is the mist generator that generates the mist covering the Sabuckus Islands. We can destroy this machine by combining its power. But be careful, everyone. I sense the presence of evil. What a fool! That saw you, Vratayu. 
I give him a Sinceru and look what he does. How naive. Do you enlist the powers of Rasaru in creating Juggernaut? No doubt this is the second best he can do with that second Rasaru Sinceru. I am Tohaji, a faithful servant of court and the true ruler of Sebekus. It is I who created the Juggernaut and your Zane to kill that medicine Hari. I was the superior Simseru received from Prince Court. That's a name. Fools, you shall feel the power of my wrath. Now I shall show you which is stronger, your Rasaru or my Simseru. Back. Sorry about that. Uh, we're facing Dohati. Excellent boss fight. And he opened up with Chaos Breath. It's toxic. He's, he's come to breathe chaos. Oh no, chaos. Uh, okay, so anything of note. Also, Gala did finally get it, so. Excellent. Uh, of note, let's see here. Always begins with Chaos Breath. Um, have either Von or Noah cast Orb. Um, from here, he'll shrink in size. It'll be about four turns in a row using normal physical. Um, but the normal physical can do up to around 900. And then whenever he gets big again, he's going to use Chaos Breath again. So you have a gauge of sorts for this one. Okay. Also, I did rearrange stuff, so... No, it does have the uh, ups arts. Hence 2200. Yes, hence the 2200. It was, it was pretty. It was very pretty. I think double in size, but... Well, yeah, it said it can take anywhere up to four rounds. I okay. think it might be in part also based on how much damage we're doing to him. Another chaos breath. That's well, a good thing Gala was spiriting that round. And I'm going to have Vaughn do it this time. Or... Ooh, spicy. And I may just orb again, just to be on the safe side. 
I mean, it's not a terrible strategy. Especially if he goes slow enough that um, he uh, kind of cleans up whatever Jihadi does this turn. Yeah. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Not bad at all. Okay, not a complete heal, but... Well, Gala will take care of that. And sadly, it's going to be Dohati's going to be the slowest of the bunch. That's okay. That means whoever he hits was at full health, so. Silver linings, you know? Yeah. Noah did a good job blocking on that, even though uh, yeah. she had just gone that turn. Yep. joke to you <laughs> venom venom toxic okay that's okay orb fixes all that Hadi. Blocked most of those good hits. Yeah, that's a lot of blocking. I'm not okay with that. Oh, he blocked most of that. That butt. Yeah, considering it takes two turns to charge it up. Two to three turns, I'd probably put it. Yeah. And this gets us actually back to full. Yep. Getting really blocky all of a sudden.
I'm gonna orb here. Just to be on the safe side? Yeah. And next turn, Nose ready to open another can. As long as he doesn't block half of the hits. Yeah. I mean, unfortunately, there's not much we can do about that. Yeah. Okay, he didn't quite do it, but... Ooh, he hits King hard. Mm -hmm. I mean, on the bright side, we're definitely over-leveled compared to what the guide is recommending. Because the guide is saying that that, that multi-hit can go up to 900, and we have not seen that happen. Yeah. Okay. So far, we're getting a good chunk of the hits in. Oh, hey, he flopped down. Oh, we're getting close then. Yeah, he flopped so hard his feet went outside the fog of war. <laughs> and there's the chaos breath. And Van got toxic. feeling positive about it. You got all three able to attack with their big combos. Yeah. And down he goes to Noah. Excellent. Then Noah's level has increased. Juggernaut has already been set free. Rimelm, that wretched cave, the Biron Monastery. Oh, those foolish humans who think they have escaped the mist. Juggernaut has unleashed the hand of destruction on them all. And Juggernaut continues to grow under the protection of the mighty Prince Court. Though I may die, Juggernaut will live. Van! Noah! Gala! Are you ready to destroy the mist generator? Yes. Listen, everyone. We must work together. Let's go! Ooh, 
cutscene. Our powers combined, I am destruction of private property. Slowly just petrifies and collapses. Lorp. The mist is clearing. Great, now we can't take that airship. Don't kill me! Strain as it dies. Ozma, that thing was a disappear. Uh, the thing that disappeared. Wasn't that our Rosaru? Silence. Tara, something's wrong. You were talking to it in a language I don't understand. I'm sorry, Noah. This is something I still can't tell you about. Man, I promise someday I'll tell you who I was talking to. So please, don't ask us to tell you now. Visibly crying. Yay, team. Noah, there's no use crying about it. All you can do is believe in that promise. I'm sorry, Tyler. Well, at least the mist is gone from Vidna and Octum. That's right. By the time we reach the outside, both towers should be back to normal. Except for that volcano. Oops. Yeah, I hope they didn't plan on using their hot springs anytime soon. I see. Yes, it is rather icy there, without the volcano. Your homes were damaged by the juggernaut I created. I'm terribly sorry. No, it's not your fault, Saryu. It's the Simseru's fault. No. I'm told you are searching for your parents in Chonkrum. Uh, or Conkrum. Conkrum or Chonkrum? Conkrum. There's no H there. That's right. Harry told me they were there. There is but one way from the Sebacus Islands to the uh, Caristo Kingdom where Conkrum is. And that is by flying, uh, the flying train. There is a flying train station in Octum. Give me a moment. <coughs> Man, I have been coughing a lot. I do not know if this is still in operation, but it's worth a try. I see. Zongi is where the mist is. Fun, we must go to the Caristo Kingdom. Fun, did you hear that? I want to go to Optum and fly ride a flying train. Everybody's... So now we need to uh, go from here to Octum. Admittedly, we do have a shortcut method to do, uh, that we can use that for. To speed things up. Using a door? Using a door. <coughs> mm-hmm. Rest up at the end first. Because free in, at least for now. 
And then we we kind of got a name drop there. Prince Court. That's new. Doors of Lights are pretty cheap, essentially. Uh, well, Door of Light slash Wind. <coughs> yeah, because the Wind are the town ports. Yeah. The Light are just es uh, escaping dungeons. Escape. And is there anything that we need to do in this area, or do we go straight to Octum? We go ahead and head out to Octum. Octum. And I get to show this off on stream. Oh, that's new. There's that weird yellow shit come out of the top of Octum. Oh yeah, that's the tram. Well, the tram line. Man, he's still the shine in the north of our town. Hey, it's Ron. The mist has disappeared, but someone came up to service from underground. Oh, it's all the people from underground. How's that dead baby? I mean... Peace time like this is the best. It's all thanks to Hari. And thanks to you. And thanks for me to kicking that woman down to save my life. This is the part of celebrate our return to the surface. Here, have some alcohol, children. Here's it to Hari. Here's the van. Here's the gala. Cheers. And here's the cute little Noah. Cheers. Ugh. Thanks to you, I can reopen this place. I owe it all to you. Now get out, you're miners. Uh, any updates to equipment or no? It looks like that the arm shop may have some new stuff for you. I'm not sure how accurate that is, though. Given the track record, maybe. I mean, it's worth a shot. Okay. There is a note here also that there is... Uh, oh, uh, that's on the other side. That it's possible that the gear update might also be on the other side. I'm not sure. Yeah, and now people don't have to worry about earthquakes because they don't have to worry about crazy weird sh happening to their town. Yep. Where is the weapon shop. Oh, weapon shop is here. I'd like to give you here's a better price, but I have to turn profit. Okay, we have Bloody Claw for Noah. Survival Axe, which we already have equipped for God. Yeah, this, that's the store I see listed here. Master Armor for Vaughn. Scarlet Robe, Fighter's Brand, Valor Plate. Okay. We only had three updates. So, Bloody Claw and Master Armor. That was bad. So, that's actually two and not three, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so, and what do you guys have to sell here for accessories, if we need any? Uh, we now have Mad Light Jewel. Apparently is 
Thunder. Luminous. Light. Ebony. Dark. There's no mention about you should buy this, so yeah. I feel like we're probably okay. Yeah. So now we can go ahead and go across to the other side. Yep. Flying trains! Oh, they're out of the operation till the mist is gone from Caristo Kingdom. Oh. Well, congratulations. Man, I didn't know it was you. I'm sorry. You want to go to the Caristo Kingdom? Uh, of course, I'd make an exception for you. The crewmen are waiting up there. Oh, and, uh... Before you go, I recommend buying plan of Doors of Wind. We have 30 of them. Experience ancient history and natural grandeur in the Dreamfield Caristo. This is a weird place. Thank you for what you did to us in the underground Octum. I knew you would be the head uh, heading to Clarissa Kingdom X. That's why I was waiting here. The gondola is good and ready, but we can only take you halfway to Clarissa Kingdom because of the mist there. Oh, don't worry. We'll unhook the gondola midway, and the momentum will take you the rest of the way. Until Carista was missed free, you could say it's a one-way ticket. Now then, uh, we can leave anytime we want. Uh, uh, how about a one-way ride to Carista? Affirmative. Yes, sir. Here we go. Attach the flying Seru. All personnel in standard flight positions. That's a fucking big ass Saru. All right, the flying Saru are ready. Now stop stalling. Get on board. That's not flying, that's more like crawling on rails. Yeah, I mean, essentially, it's just a gargant. Yeah. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Once heard. In Caruso Kingdom, 
Sol and Conkrum were at war when the mist first covered the earth. Zopu said he believed there was some connection between that war and the mist. I think he was right, Thon. But that's not all. Behind everything, deep inside the mist, I sense a horrible evil. Ah, that skybox. Fun! Something's wrong! The flying train stopped! That is strange. We're still in the middle of the ocean and Cristo isn't even in sight. Something's not right. Why would we stop in the middle of the ocean like this? stuck in a place like this. Blah, blah, blah. And blah, blah, what? We, blah, blah, blah. What? What? What's wrong? What happened? We were just talking about it and over here and, uh... This isn't good. They say the Mist and Caristo Kingdom is much stronger than we expected. So if we go any further, the Mist will start affecting our own flying Saru. I thought we could go further than this. Oh, don't worry, it's a nice downhill slope from here on in. We'll just unhook the gondola and with a little momentum you'll coast right into Caristo. Leave everything to us. We'll just close the gondola door and wait. At that doesn't sound good. We're counting on you. Affirmative. Are you ready? Hold on tight. And then they speed up. essentially launch you down the rails. Whoa, man, we're going fast. This guy's overexcited. Hey, hey, that's enough. Unhook us. Unhook us. Man, no, God. We're counting on you. Good luck. And then he just drops into the ocean. And was never seen again. Alright. For a flying Saru, he did a pretty bad job of flying. Uh, the mist disappears. Next thing I know, we're swimming the ocean. Hey, yeah, they're gone. They're gone. I hope they're alright. Too bad the gondola doesn't have any brakes. But hey, those guys have Rossaru. You said it! Nothing can beat the Rasaru by your side! Translation, Rasaru equals plot armor. Alright, let's go back! At, what was it, like 400 kilometers to the shore? Ah, it's just a nice leisurely swim. Shoot, I wish the flying Saru could swim. Too bad a flying Saru can't actually fly. Sure. Just never ending story your way back. And this is why the Doors of Wind are kinda important. Because otherwise, fuck getting out of here. What, by the NPCs or you? Not both? Well, there goes the gondola and that stained glass window. Smash. Well, well. First you're wandering all over the place. Now you're napping here? Kara. You're so pathetic. See what happens when you depend on those flying trains? I can't keep getting you out of trouble, you know. Hey, I never had 
asked you to help me? Kara, what are you doing here? What is that? Obviously, I'm here to pick your pockets. What did you think? I can't believe it. That's the floating castle, the one that sprays mist down from the sky. Delightful. Yeah. I don't think that's mist, Kara. I think that's something else. It's methane mist. <laughs> it's fucking huge, though. Eh, it's forced perspective. <laughs> and all of a sudden, the land was filled with poo gas. I mean, the land's been filled with poo gas since we started the story. <laughs> yeah, but it's now even more pooey and gassy. <laughs> Light bulb. He took everything from us. The floating castle, it's gone. Tell me, Kara, how are you able to travel freely through the mist? How do you escape possession by Saru when you don't have a Rosaru like us? Rosaru? What is a Rosaru? All I have is this good luck charm. It's a Rosaru egg. Wow. And this voice in my head going, hear, feel, think. Gotcha. Carl, where did you get that Rosaru egg? Oh, so that's what you call it. A Rosaru egg. I didn't know that. Carl, can I have that Rosaru egg? Nope. I don't think so. No, you can't have it. It's mine. Why should I give in? They give it to you. <laughs> well, I have to get going. I have things to do and steal. Wait, Carl, where are you going? Sorry, that's a secret. Oh, that woman. Uh, but I wonder where she got that roster egg. Kara might actually be a really nice person. After all, she helped us. Oh. And examine. Nope, can't examine a wreck that bad. Yeah, it's so badly wrecked it doesn't even exist. Okay, so when you go down the stairs, go to the left. There should be an honest person shop. It's a finely crafted doll. Right on the doll chest, uh, doll's chest says, Honest person store. Unattended kiosk. Buy travel kits for a peace of mind. Please insert 3,000 G per kit. So I'm going to recommend that you do so. Check the travel kit's contents. Five healing blooms, one door of wind, and one door of light. Took a travel trip. And pay it, Yes. Yes. Uh, there is also a treasure chest near here that has uh, 3,000 gil in it. Okay. Wait, they use gil? No, oh, G. G. Gil, gold, gala. Gumbo. Gumption. coins. Gumption. But yeah, um, oh, uh, behind the tree on the right, sorry. Nut with a G. Behind the nut? Tree. tree on the right. I'm looking. That's exactly what it says. Check behind the tree on the right to get 3000 G. Oh, boy. Wait, no. Uh, yeah, simply examine the tree on the right to find three. Oh, to find it at the trunk. It's not a chest. It's literally the trunk of the tree. Like, there's a 
squirrel hole in it. But it says the tree at the right, so probably the first one to the right. I'm checking a couple of trees. Oh, maybe it goes away if you um, if you do it before oh, you check the tree. It's oh, right. You found it? it. It's to the left of the shop. God damn it! It said to the right. Ugh. Okay, but yeah, now apparently you'll be able to come back here later and get something because you used the honest shop and we're honest about it. Yay. Honesty has rewards. God, the closest thing I could think of that did something like this is from Twilight Princess. Oh, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. With the wood shop that was basically monitored by a freaking parrot. That if you paid, he'd call you a cheapskate, but he'd still let you go. If you did not pay... He would say thief, and if you tried to go back to the store, he would actively attack you until he got his money. <laughs> oh, wow. So, yeah, follow the road, find a tower. Uh, Conkrum will have to wait. So, follow the road north, south, west, east. Uh, uh, it literally says, um, start making your way north. This will eventually lead you to the tower. Okay. Just as a side note, um, there is a save point when we get to the tower. The tower does have mist, except for on the fourth floor. Okay. The fourth floor has like a little mini town, essentially. Safe area, essentially. Yeah. Like actually with shops and stuff. Ah. Uh, in addition, um,. That safe area also has what's known as the Battle Dome. Oh, boy. Welcome to Coliseum content. Uh, you love to see it. I always... Uh, I It's weird because like I tried doing the uh, Sevens one, and I think I got to the penultimate fight, and then I got the worst thing possible, which was basically... Um, level half. HP quarter? Oh, level half. Ooh, yeah. And I had been doing so well, um, basically, because I had equipped, uh, Cloud with, uh, Outer Ribbon, so I was just getting status effects most of the time. But then level half, I'm like, oh, sh I am fucked. And I just, as a, as, I think as a kid, just gave up trying to do Coliseum after that one. Yeah, uh, whereas I tend to be a little more picky about Coliseum, the only game I've really done a lot with the Coliseum in is, well, I, with the Star Ocean series, I usually do. Because yeah. the Star Ocean Coliseums tend to be pretty good. Um, I've done... Wild Arms did, uh, does have a Coliseum area. I don't... I, one and two did. I'm not 
sure if I'm remembering if 3 had one or not. Probably. Um, 4... Not quite. And 6, I did use the Coliseum only a little bit, which was just literally to get Shadow back. Yeah. I don't think I really ever used uh, Six's Coliseum much. Because... Uh, Nine technically had a quote unquote Coliseum, but it was a little weird. Uh, and I you know, know for. That? Yeah, I remember. I think briefly about that. When the you... basement of the weapon shop in Treno. Yeah. Uh, 14 has the Carnival, which is probably the closest thing we're going to have to a Coliseum fight. Yeah, the Mass Carnival. Because even though, yes, you do fight in the Coliseum, most of those well, are... There's also PvP. Uh... Uh, I mean, it's not quite the same, but yeah, I see. I, I get the point. I get your point. I can see the point on that one. I mean, technically, there is an actual literal Coliseum. There's the Dragon's Neck Coliseum. Yeah. And here's that Terrier we're mentioning. And we got enough time to get up to the fourth floor. Um, Sarah Guide, the only thing you can get in here... Oh! Oh! Oh boy, that sounds necessary. Like we... Sounds like it's something I will have to. And Boon! Boon. Are we saying that no. in the same vein? Spoon. Spoon. Literally, it's spoon. Wow. Well. Which is the ultimate heal spell? Ah, the revive. No, there isn't a revive spell. Really? That feels stupid. Huh. But this one is the big bad AoE. Ah. For Sorry. big bad MP. Sorry to talk over your silence. So this is Seoul. I never imagined that such a huge city could be built by human hands. This must have been built with the power of Seru a long time ago. Flying trains, the city itself. Truly, a pretty missed civilization. Let's see what's like inside. Horrible rust and neon signs. No, wait, don't go alone. Well, come on, Van Gogh, let's go. <laughs> There's no argument with Noah. Come, Van, we're all going inside. A question once we're out of talkies uh what is our levels right now or what are I'm, our levels i think we're 28 and i wasn't joking about it quite literally being rust and neon signs mm -hmm. wow it's huge fun gala look it's huge i heard soul was a big place but never imagined it was this big it's engulfed in the mist. Wait! I sense human thoughts. There are survivors in there. The mist doesn't seem to have roots to the upper parts of the city. But be careful. I sense indescribable depravity. Does that mean she discovered... Redacted? Let's be careful. Warrior monks of Biron were sent to Seoul. I hope they're still alive. Oh, let's go up and check the levels just to confirm. Yes, we are all 28. Excellent.
By the way, you did miss a door below. That I should check out. I mean, I don't know which ones you should check out and which ones you shouldn't. I just noticed that you passed a door. Yeah. Oh, that's the save point. Oh. Well, that's a good thing to know about. Yep. That's an elevator. That is currently out of service, I'm sure. Yep. Yep. Weapon shop. Nope, I saw stairs in there. Get me back in the shop. I also saw a gray chest. Vaughn now has the swift water from the sage's treasure chest. That sounds weird. It sounds like a chest that's... dead bone and shade. around here the guy talks about being 25 when fighting the boss coming up Ooh. I'm guessing in order to get to level 4 I have to defeat the boss no it's past the the boss is past 4 okay I'll get to four. Probably have a couple of cutscenes there. Magic. Gala. Gala now has level six orb. Nice. We're getting closer. Phoenix. Wonder elixir from the Sage's elixir trip. What is the difference between a normal chest and a sage one? That will become important later. Okay. After, I think after you've beaten the boss, you should um, be able to find out more about those. Oh, every elevator has a save point. I see this now. Which is very convenient, really. I'm also surprised we haven't gotten any fights yet. Well, we had one fight. Oh, right, we did have one fight. Power water. And now we have a second fight. Uh, Spoon! Excellent. Now we just need somebody to learn it. hit in, but he did not learn it. Plus. 
That's okay, because that just means we find your new grind for be between now and next Friday. Yeah. I think we got up to here. But I can't you think remember. That it was, we were at Soul Tower when we I uh, think last we, played the first playthrough. I think we got to part of some of the stuff that's here in Soul Tower. But, uh... I don't think we got to solving this area's Oh, hey, two spoons. Excellent. Two chances to learn it. That's one. be a significant grind, but... spoons this time. Alas. Alas. Oh no! Fatal decision! These guys again! Yay! Half HP? Oh, that's Garbo. I hate you. Joe could be worse. That half HP is half total HP for the rest of the yeah, fight. Yeah, and then at the end of the fight, you go back to, in this case, 690, oh, 204 of your max. Oh, 
Vaughn for a moment. Eight, yeah. Magic. Vaughn. Vera. I hear it too. The sound of a monster roaring and the sound of a sword. <laughs> it must be someone being attacked by a monster. To ambush thee, grotesque beasts from hell, a pack of serum demons, prepare to meet thy doom. Thou shalt die by my astral sword. Oh, Gramps. Hold it. Old man, calm down. We're not serum monsters. We're human beings. Silence. 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 Uh, forgive me, I must apologize. Thou art indeed human, says I detected no madness in thine eyes. I am Gaza, an old man who walks the path of carnage and bloodshed. Forgive me in my incivility as I live in such a defiled land. But this demon's lair is no place for a woman nor child. Hmm? Ma no, of course not. Mine in mine eyes doth deceive me. Ma is no longer this world. In the upper floors are ones who would greet thee. Make haste. I take leave of you now. That old man, Gaza, now there is a true swordsman. He does not drop his guard for an instant. But his eyes, his eyes showed no emotion at all. They were lifeless, cold eyes. Very disturbing. Talks so funny. I can't understand him. But when he looked at me and called me Mar, he seemed so nice. I think this is the elevator room. Yes, it is. And welcome to floor four. Blow as hell above heaven. That's the town of Seoul. 
Go upstairs and have a ball. This is a fun town. Oh, I can't take it anymore. Start acting like a man. It's coming from there. Sounds like an argument. Let's go see. Fine, let's go inside. That Noah always poking her nose into everything. Come, Vaughn. Let's go. Next to Kara, it's Grantes. I'm not saying this because I hate you. I just want to get you back to on your feet. The I want the Grantes of ten years ago, before the mist. Silence. Everything I did, I did them hoping that someday you would get back on your feet. I was no good thief. I used the confusion to steal from people. I did things that would make my parents cry if they knew. Me, a woman, I did all those things. Don't you feel anything? I'm grateful. I'm sorry. Grantes, you're a sorry excuse for a man. Living off a woman, you're no better than a pimp. Uh. Man, what's pimp? No, 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 no. Wow, that's a conversation for this game. If Grantes is human, how can he be a pimp? Uh, I don't understand. He, he, he's a man who lives off a woman. I'm going to put, I don't really understand either. Oh. Really? You're going to leave it to, you're going to leave it to Gala to, to feel this? Yes. Well, then Gala... Make the monk talk about what a pimp is? Yes. Can you tell me what a pimp is? Uh, well, I'm glad you leave it on me. Well, um, I'm a monk and I know not such things very well. That seems to be what one calls a bad man who doesn't work and has a woman support him? A uh, that's still really beating around the bush, Gala, but okay. A pimp is a bad man? Uh -huh, I get it. No, no, you don't know it. Stop. Grantis is bad. I hate people who are bad. Wait, no, don't be so hasty. I'm gonna get Grantis because he's bad. And he, she just jump kicks him into the bar. Grantis is bad. Pips are bad. I hate pips. I mean, that's that's a good sentiment, but no. Y you're still working off of partial information there, Noah. That's why I won't let Grantes get away with that. Ed? No. No. Don't. Stop. Please. He's not bad. I'm the one who's bad. It's my fault. So please, don't hurt him. If you want to hit someone, hit me. That was like, say less. Why should I hit you, Kara? Grantes is the one who's bad. And the poor bartender's like, my, my bottles of booze. Oh, that entire shelf is gone. Noah, don't interfere in their business. Come on, let's go outside. Meanwhile, the muscle guy in the back is like, impressive technique. And the pian uh, pianist is going like, well, time to start up again. But I didn't do anything. 
something wrong. Grandpa's is the one who's bad. Yeah, no flying kicks, Noah. That's kind of bad manners. Noah, this is an adult business. You can't go stick your nose into it. Why? Adults are humans, too, and I'm a human. I mean, human just like them. I don't, I don't understand. God, tell me why. Out of nowhere, so he's like, "You called, you called, Gala." Not, 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 not you, Songi. No, no, no. You're so strange. Come on, Noah. You want to go on Conquerum, right? You want to see your parents in Conquerum, right? Yeah, I do. Okay, go. I'll take care of Grantes later. We're. Not taking care of Grantes later. And we're going to go in here and save and stop. Because we're just a tiny bit over. So. Uh, ever so slightly. Ever so slightly. So, for everybody. Uh, we will be streaming tomorrow. It will be Final Fantasy XIV. And as such, uh, that will be Eddie in the pilot seat. Uh, of course, uh, Michael, I, and MPX will be joining. Uh, as for what we're going to be doing in fourteen, uh, that really depends on what Eddie wants to do, because we could be starting previous content that we skipped over in our rush to the end of Endwalker. But, uh, that you'll have to tune into tomorrow. Uh, as for other things, like, most of our streams are archived on YouTube, so at least 80%, uh, 80 to 90% has been there. So if you want to catch up, that's a good place to start. Uh, we do have podcasts, which are on all major platforms. So Google, Apple, Spootfy. Uh, sadly, nothing new on the podcast front because streaming's kind of taken up that spot for the most part. Um, admittedly, we probably do need to start picking that back up sooner or later. Um... As for best way to help us, like, if you liked what you heard or saw, uh, best way to help is let other people know, like, share around. Um, if you prefer a much more direct method, uh, there's, of course, the sub, uh, sub, uh, sub points here on Twitch, or our Patreon, or at least of all our Redbubble store. Uh, we are on all major social, uh, most major social media platforms. That's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and after the stream tomorrow, the next stream will be Wednesday, and that will be a Elden Ring stream with Eddie. And then that rolls right back to Friday, where uh, we will pick up, and hopefully everybody will have spoons. But, in the eternal words of the tick, SPOON! Alright, night everybody! Bye!